Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show .com, the Chris Voss Show .com. Current blog post we want to share with you. Of course, we want to review the latest in social media and technology. And of course, we um, we're actually doing this review inside of an AT and T store. Uh, we just launched the uh, Nokia 920 here, and we're of course playing with it and getting a chance to test it out. So if you hear beeping and numerous noises in the background, we apologize. That's basically what it is. Uh, you can see here we've got a beautiful yellow one here. Uh, it's the Microsoft Lumia 920 and uh, on this device it's a very beautiful device. Um, it feels like a very solid phone. It's a one-piece body phone the way they build these and of course it helps with the antenna and everything else in making sure that you get the um, you get no interferences some other phones have had. It's got a beautiful screen here on the front and then it also has um, a uh, great back to it. Uh, it's very fast from what we can see uh, from the device. And of course, you have the live tiles now that are active with the uh, Nokia or the uh, Microsoft product here. And uh, you can see different photos, things of that nature. Uh, we've liked it so far. It's got a pretty good camera on it, uh, from what we can tell. Um, you've got your, of course, your home button here, your back button, and then your search button. Um, the uh, it's got uh, a little bit more raised screen on the front than was on the original uh, Lo Lumia 900. Uh, so uh, we really like this version uh, a lot. Um, it's got, uh, of course, you can see you've got your rocker buttons for up and down volume here. You've got your uh, power on and off here. You've got your shutter button here. And then on the top, you could probably see this. You've got a small microphone, a couple of holes, a uh, earphone jack in the middle and your sim card area on the top. Now this middle part for the earphone uh, comes out pretty well for I think most people that utilize it because it's got uh, if you're left or right handed you won't run into any blockage. Then on the left side of the device you don't have anything uh, and you can kind of see here how thick that front screen is. But it's a beautiful screen. It feels very comfortable in the hand. It's got a rounded back to it so it feels very comfortable when you take and hold it. Let's go ahead and pull it back out of the thing there. Now, of course, you can change the colorization of these tiles and everything else. Uh, you can go into their app store and be able to do stuff. The app store and all the menus and everything seems to be much more responsive than it used to be uh, with the uh, Lumia 900. So I definitely like this model a whole lot more. Let's take a look at some of the different details of it. Okay, so here we have with the Nokia Lumia, what you've got is it's Windows 8, of course, is the OS in it. It's 5.13 in height, 2.79 in width, and 0.42 inches in thickness. It has a 6.53 ounce weight to it. A uh, little bit on the heavy side, but not much. I mean, what, by an ounce or so than most nominal phones. Uh, the physical size, I actually like the weight on it. Uh, it feels very comfortable in the hand. Uh, the physical size is 4.5 inches of the screen, uh, 7 68 by 12, 80 pixels, 332 uh, PPI. It's got uh, IPS LCD, so it's a great screen uh, with 16 million, 16.7 million, I should say, colors. Touchscreen is a capacitive multi touch screen with light sensor, proximity sensor, scratch resistant glass. I actually saw where they were sliding these things around uh, in sand on. Uh, on, uh, it was just crazy. They're sliding around on sand on a basketball court. Um, anyway, the battery time was uh, 17 hours uh, talk time, 16.7 days standby time. 3G talk time is 10 hours, and standby time on 3G is 16.7 days. The processor is a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor. It has dual core 1.5 gigahertz Krat uh, processor on it, a Reno 2. 2.5 is the graphics processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabytes of built-in storage. The camera has an 8.7 megapixels camera on the back, um, and uh, the aperture size is f2.0. Uh, it'll do, of course, 1080p, 30 frames per second camcorder on the back, and the front-facing camera is 1.5 megapixels. Um, let's see, on the Internet Explorer, uh, 10 is the browser that's kind of uh, funny that they would list that, um, and of course, we, you know, it's a it's a Windows phone. Uh, so uh, Bluetooth connectivity 3.0. That's kind of interesting. Um, that doesn't have 4.0. But uh, other than that, it seems a little bit faster than what I remember the Luke Lumia 900. I had a Lumia 900 for quite some time, and the 920 seems faster. It definitely feels a whole lot. 
uh, better build. If you are a Windows Phone fanatic, this is definitely a super nice phone to take and have. Um, it does seem to have pretty good speed. I don't see much speed lag in how it's operating and what it's doing. Uh, it seems a whole lot more quicker uh, than the um, than the other phone that we take and have, uh, or the original phone we have with the 900. Uh, I like it. The camera, I'm not really sure what to think about the camera. I probably need to spend some more time with it, but uh, it's definitely there. On the bottom of the device, you can see here we've got the speaker, and there's probably some microphones in there too. We have two screws and, of course, our charger port for it. Uh, it definitely feels like a weighted phone. I saw some bloggers complaining about the weight of the phone. It definitely feels a little heavy, but, I mean, is one ounce going to kill you or two? I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. And it feels like a solid foam. We saw these people rolling it around, like I said, on sand on a basketball court uh, and throwing it around, dropping it, smacking it. The hard one body piece to it really makes a huge amount of difference in the quality of it. So, uh, and it's got a pretty good screen to it. Uh, it seems to be about the same as the one that was on the Lumia 900. So, on the back of the device, you can see it's got a curved back. It's got the Carl Zeiss. Uh, camera lens uh, in it and of course you've got your lamp flash that's right here looks like the and I don't know if it's different on other models but they got away from that silver one this is kind of a darker color seems to fit the color of the case more okay now with the camera it takes uh, pretty okay pictures with the camera um, I the uh, uh, you know they were they were pretty fine here's an here's a lit up section uh, where we have lighting here's a shot with the camera flash at night or in a completely dark setting where this thing is shooting uh, video wise we're too excited about the video portion of the night shooting. The lamp isn't very bright, very dark, especially against some other things we compared it against. The flash is very good, but the lamp video we just weren't that excited about. I have to be completely honest with you, um, and that's why you listen to me. Um, we weren't really uh, happy with those results with the lamp video on the Nokia. Uh, Flash-wise, for the photos, it was fine. Uh, here's a you know well lit situation. We're shooting some different stuff. Uh, it looks like a great camera. Um, does it knock my socks off? Not really. It looks pretty uh, normal, nominal to me. Uh, here's a shot that we're doing, of course, where we're doing video. It's very crisp in color and well lit and all that good stuff. Uh, this comes out pretty good. We we I, I think the I like the video much better than I did with the night shots on the uh, bright light shots that you can see here. Be sure to check it out. You can go to our friends at AT&T.com. That's AT&T.com. Check out all the latest and greatest phones that we've reviewed from them. Of course, watch for us. We'll be doing comparison videos between this phone and all the other phones that are out there in the marketplace and all that good stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, we like the phone. If you're a Windows phone person, this is definitely the phone to have. I've already taken a look at the much uh, cheaper, I think it's the 820 or the downgraded phone from it. This is definitely the nicer phone to have is what I would recommend. So be sure to check it out. Tell them Chris Foss sent you at at and uh, Chris Foss tested, Chris Foss approved. And uh, watch for us to do more testing. We of course had to do some quick testing here with the at and store uh, when it launched and hopefully we'll be getting one of these that we can play with bring you more benchmarking tests and everything else. Thanks for coming by the Chris Foster Show.com. Be sure to check back often.